So this is a quick demonstration of how to do pixel classification in Fiji. And as in the elastic video that is also on this channel, we are using as an example, the ISP challenge data for 2012. And the uh, data is a TEM data set where we want to segment the membranes, but exclude uh, mitochondria or mitochondrial membranes and the background. And to do this, uh, what I did was um, to open now a part of this data set in Fiji. So as you can see, this is a 3D stack. And then I call the trainable Becker segmentation plugin. And this takes a bit. Okay, and then what you can see is that now the images or the entire stack is opened within the plugins interface. So we can also scroll here. And um, as in all pixel classifications, we need to train our classifier saying um, which pixels are one class and which pixels are another class. So um, what I can now do start doing is marking a few pixels that belong to one class, which I define now to be my membrane class. And I can zoom out, of course, and zoom somewhere else. We, like here, and continue here, and so on. And then I would do the same with the second class, which in this case will be my background. And as always in pixel classification, I try to kind of have equal um, amount of pixels in both classes. And I try to pick pixels like from different parts of the image. I could also include different slices in order to get like a, to catch all the variations that uh, membrane pixels can have and that um, background pixels can have. So uh, of course I could continue now, but this is a demonstration. So I stop here and say, I would like now to train the classifier. And this will take a bit. And while this is running, I can show you also that um, the plugin is very well documented. So online, when you search for trainable Becker segmentation in Fiji, you can find all this um, documentation. And as for all classifiers, of course, the um, core part is filtering your image with different filters. And what is very nice here is that you can find um, documentation, on all the filters that are used. And so you can really um, choose which filter is the most appropriate for your images. So let's go back and see how far it got. And you can see that the classification now is finished and um, it actually gave quite nice results even with these few um, training sets or small training sets that I gave. And then uh, you can, of course, um, toggle back to the original image to better inspect what you have been doing. And you can then, um, if you say, well, here actually you would like to correct, of course, you could then um, add a few more annotations and retrain the classifier. And always, um, of course, with the pixel classification, it is important that you can apply such a pic uh, pixel classifier not only on the image that you have, but usually you want to apply it then to many images which were not included in the training now. And this you can do by saying apply classifier, and then you would pick a different data set. So in my case, I would pick, um, for example, this one. And you can either create a probability map or a segmentation. So probability map obviously tells you how sure it is that a pixel belongs to a certain class and segmentation is really then a labeled mask. So in this case, I would prefer a segmented a segmentation. So I'm 
I clicked no. And now it is um, applying the classifier that we had trained on the active open image that I had in Fiji on the image stack that I loaded now with apply classifier. Okay, so now what we got is the output of the classification on the new stack. And here you would then get the, the classes of all the pixels, of course. And this is just a demonstration, so I did not really um, perfectionize the classification. What I would like to add is two things. So you can, under settings, you can um, adjust which filters you want to use. Again, I point to the documentation to learn more about what these filters are doing. And then you can also, of course, set other parameters. And another thing that I would like to point out is um, that, of course, it can take a while, especially if images are getting big and bigger. And then what you could do is, for example, and train your classifier on, on only a few uh, crops of your image. And then using this apply classifier function, then you could apply it to your entire image in case you have like a giant um, image that you want to classify. So you can find more information on the Vecra classifier online. So this is again the link, you can find everything in the video description also. Please, if you use these tools, uh, cite. So in this case, please cite um, the plugin, but also the Fiji itself. And uh, as again, the data comes from the ISP Challenge 2012.